everyone. It is officially 24 hours after the finish of the Walt Disney World Marathon yesterday, 26.2 miles. We did it. I hope you guys watched the videos, cheered me along, maybe even followed me on the Run Disney Tracker all the way to the finish line, but I am pretty dead today. My legs are definitely feeling it, but I would, like I said yesterday, I would do it all over again in a heartbeat just to, you know, just for that experience and to get the prize that was waiting for me at the finish line. Mickey Mouse handed me that 25th anniversary medal. A feeling that I'll never, I'll never get, you know, never get, to, can't even explain how great of a feeling that was to uh, finish the Walt Disney World Marathon 26 miles, like I said, but I have uh, all the goodies that I acquired over the weekend here. I just wanted to show everyone, you know, yesterday, at the end of yesterday's video, I was pretty dead. And I pretty much closed it out really quickly. Didn't really get a chance to show off, show off the prizes and the goodies that I got to bring home with me. But that's what we're going to take a look at today. We're going to get a close-up look of the 25th anniversary medal, some of the other goodies that uh, I picked up over the weekend, and a little surprise gift that was being handed out to you know all the finishers yesterday. That uh, was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. All right, guys, here it is. Everything that I acquired over Marathon Weekend. This here on the left, it is beaten and battered and bruised just like I am today, but there is my official Marathon shirt. My bib is absolutely destroyed. It was a nice, nice smooth finish, nice looking bib when we started, but as you can see, it is beaten, battered just like I am today, but there it is. That is the shirt that got me 26.2 miles probably not going to wash it. I'm going to I think I'm going to put it in a frame or something to uh commemorate the uh the occasion. But uh moving off to the right here, this is the shirt that I picked up at the expo, the I did it shirt. Pretty cool. It's got the course map on the back if you saw that video and uh and also the hat that I wore during the marathon. It's got Mickey on the side, 26.2 miles. Super cool hat. Definitely had to have that one. I saw it at the expo. And also, if you watch that expo video, there's my replica of the pin metal that I picked up. That was really cool. And 26.2 miles marathon pin. I grabbed my I did it magnet. We're going to put that on the back of the car so everybody knows. Hey, Pendaflo did the 26.2 miles for the 25th anniversary Walt Disney World Marathon. But I'm sure... Well, before we get to the medal, I know that's the main thing you guys probably want to take a look at, but to all the finishers of the race, this was definitely a surprise. They were handing out 25th anniversary marathon Mickey ears to all finishers of the race. This is actually my first pair of Mickey ears that I own, or Mickey hat ears that I own, and I definitely earned them yesterday finishing the marathon. This was a super cool surprise to all the finishers of the race that they were handing these out, and I am, I'm going to treasure these for, uh, for a very long time. <laughs> But what you guys definitely came here to see is the medal for finishing the 25th anniversary Walt Disney World Marathon. You didn't get a close look up at it yesterday or before, but this medal is absolutely gorgeous. All the sparkles, 25th anniversary. The lanyard itself is super cool, but the best part about this medal is it's a spinner. And the other side is Mickey with the distance. If you can dream it, you can do it. Boy, if that ain't the motto for Pen to Flow this year. It's perfect metal. It's amazing. Boy, did it feel good to have them put this around my neck yesterday after five hours and 45 minutes of, of punishment, basically, to get myself to that finish line. We maintained just it was a little under a 13-minute mile average through the whole race to get from from starting line to finish line which is for for my first time marathoner that was pretty good you know the official results were posted yesterday actually i'm going to put those up on screen right now for you to look at but i finished in the top half of the field as you can see on the results there so pretty great performance for me this thing is awesome and this is irreplaceable in my opinion. I've been wearing it around the house all day yesterday and even today I've been wearing it. But uh, I'm probably going to be wearing this thing for a while. It is super cool. And boy, does it feel good to actually earn this thing and have it around my neck. Well, there you go, guys. Quick little video. 
Thank you all once again for cheering me on yesterday. You got me to the finish line. I've got my ears on, medals around my neck. It's a great feeling. If you ever get the chance to run a, a, a Disney race, it is once in a lifetime experience. So, and uh, this is uh, officially announcing that after, after the completion of yesterday's full marathon, I did register for the Star Wars half marathon that's coming up here in April. So Penn to Flow is going to be back out there on that Walt Disney World course running for another medal so got a few months to keep continue training for that one luckily that one's only a half marathon this was a full marathon so that one only be 13 miles instead of 26 but still going to take some training and we're going to try to you know post a better time than we did this 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 go around and get stronger with every every step that we take so definitely guys get a chance get out there run disney earn yourself some bling Thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for all the likes, the comments, and the subscriptions, and all the support through the marathon weekend. And we'll see you all very soon.